Hey everybody, it's Mike with the 1974 GMC. We haven't talked in quite a while because uh, up here in the Great White North, you can see what's going on. It's snowmobile season. So I've been working on a bunch of uh, sleds and riding and helping other people out. Here's a trailblazer that needed a little bit of help. Just give you a view outside, you'll see that it's I would guess we could call it Arctic camping weather. There's Iris with her ball. My sticker. Gotta love it. Unfortunately, it didn't have a lot of adhesive. But if you look outside, Great White North, snow is still coming down. So, the motorhome is uh, jacked up because I am going to go through the bearings at all wheels, ball joints, do all of that this winter. That's one of the projects. And the other project is something I've been talking about for a while, and that has to do with fuel injection. So here we have the setup, or part of the setup that I'm planning to use, and I'm, that's a Jeep snorkel. I'm not sure I'm going to use that. I've heard that the they have a hard time getting airflow through those, so maybe I'll end up making my own or maybe splice two of these together so it has two snorkels on it uh, to get enough air. But the bottom line is this is an Eidelbrock Performer intake for the Olds 455 that I bought used on eBay, and it's in very nice shape. And uh, part of the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm going to do this video before I do any real machine work here, but you can see it's sitting on the mill, and we'll get back to that a little bit later. So, let me just get my pad of paper, I should have had that ready. So, just a little side note, I'm currently, the last snowmobile I'm working on is this 72 Johnson with a wankle, a rotary engine in it, and I've got the ignition off. Um, I need those coils right there, they're bad. So I've got another uh, stator on order from eBay, and uh, when they come in, we'll get the coils put on and see if that doesn't take care of the spark issue with the, with the I think they call them a golden ghost or a phantom, they're kind of cool. But so, just to let you know, I, what I did here is basically both intake manifolds are pretty close to the same when it comes to where the water neck is. So I measured from the top of the carpet down to the water pump, or down to the water neck, and you can see that it's seven and a half inches. And then the carpet to the bottom of the wood, not including that foam pad, I have it an inch and a quarter. And then on the mill, I used the quill and slid across and basically uh, basically had the bottom of my chuck touching there, slid across and measured to the water pump. That's seven and a half inches. So if I were to install it just like it is, basically the uh, air cleaner or the air snorkel would be right at the carpet level. So obviously that's no good. So what I've been told, I'm just going to set a couple things aside here, that uh, this particular intake, you can machine a half an inch off of this, which would be helpful. It still means I'm probably going to have to do some work with the wood and maybe put a metal plate or something on the top to, uh, to support uh, people stepping and, and what have you. But... Uh, I'd like to try and get three quarters of an inch at the back. And now if you look at this, and this is another thing that's a little concerning, is you can, and I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it's sloped toward the front. And again, I use the end of the chuck sitting here to there, and I'm losing, it's at about a quarter of an inch angle. Not sure what the purpose of that is. And I'm certain that these holes are machined, you know, perpendicular to this face, which means the studs will be at an angle. And if I clean that angle level like I want to do, because I did check and the motor's pretty much, the engine I should say, is pretty much level with the uh, 
with the cockpit floor so I really don't want this tip and so I want to take that out and, and like I said I'd really like to get three quarters of an inch off it at the back and then in which case I can probably re-drill and tap the holes and if they run through into a plenum I don't really care because I can you know I can put them in with uh, put studs in with a sealer or put the bolts in with a sealer so I'm not overly concerned about that um, I'm a cheap ass, I think as we've, uh, we may have determined this already, and that's why I didn't buy the eleven or $1,200 aluminum intake manifold that is uh, readily available from Applied. Um, just, uh, just seems crazy for, you know, for that, but they have a, a limited market and uh, they're trying to get every dollar they can. So, but like I said, this having increased distance or intre increased runner length, which, 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 this will have over the applied unit will increase the torque so that's uh, a good good place to start and just so you, you can see here Edelbrock performer olds 455 so that's what uh, that's what I'm looking at doing and I, and I do want aluminum intake manifold number one they look but they look better uh, number two my cast iron one is cracked and so uh, I think heat dissipation will be a little better with the aluminum as well. I will probably still block off the crossovers. Um, you can see this also doesn't have to have a plate for the EGR because this particular model it doesn't have uh, the port for the EGR. So, so I guess I'm going to turn it over to you guys, and I'd love to hear your comments. And I'm sure that some of you are going to comment not to not to switch to a fuel injection to to stay with a carburetor and and uh, that, that's been discussed a million times, and I think you guys uh, understand my feelings on it, that uh, you wouldn't even consider going to buy a new car today that had a carburetor on it. So uh, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm of the opinion that uh, fuel injection is a much better system. And no, no matter what you say, you're not going to change my mind. I do know that they tune carburetors on a daily basis for drag cars, and they tune them that specific day and that's what they run you know and, and then they can get things maybe dialed in closer than uh than your average computer can do but uh but again we're not going to change my mind on uh on uh, whether i switch to fuel injection the other nice thing about this as you can see this will handle both a spread bore and a square bore carburetor and so my plan right now is to leave the existing fuel system to the existing fuel pump use that existing fuel pump to fill my pump tank or my uh, my sump if you will and then pump out of that with my electric fuel filter for the EFI that said if I do it that way it would be very simple to swap a carburetor back on. All I'd have to do is save my fuel line and uh, put the car back on. Now my car would probably need to be rebuilt, um, which is another another item, which it would be fine to be rebuilt, I, and I may do that and, and keep it with me as, as people have talked about, but un until such a time as I prove out this uh, fuel injection. But really what I'm interested in what you guys think about is, you know, squaring this up with the with the engine and you can see that because of there's a one of the runners dips down I had to block this up but basically the mill is trammed in the um, the, the intake is clamped down and it's blocked with identical size uh, parallels at each end so like I said to be really I can make short work of taking that uh, inch off of there um, just a matter of uh, is it the right thing to do or should I you know maybe sell this intake again and uh, buy the you know pony up the dough for the one from applied so just I guess just something to think about any other uh, you know any other questions I'm happy to answer if I can and uh, hopefully we'll see some of you at the rally in Bel Air this year that's the one I plan on attending at this time, like I said, I do want to get them trying to get the coach such that uh, it's very trustworthy because I do want to drive it cross country. So, all right, everybody, have a great day.